Good morning, Steve Green in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Over, hope everybody had a good and safe weekend. Markets are higher, beans up 16 cents, <clears throat> oils up a penny, meals up five dollars, corns up eight cents, while Chicago wheat's up 20 cents. Uh, outside markets, stocks a little bit lower, dollars a little bit lower, crudes a little bit lower, and most commodities are also <clears throat> a little bit lower. Um, the uh, second quarter China GDP data was lower than expected, and that may be offering some resistance to commodity markets. Uh, the grains are higher <clears throat> based on the fact that China was an active buyer of South America and U.S. soybeans last week. They were buying Brazil corn, and they also may have bought Ukraine corn. That type of demand is supportive to the grain market. We're also look, looking at uh, some warmer and drier conditions for parts of Canada, uh, Montana, North Dakota, and um, maybe a, a narrow band that works across South Dakota, Iowa, <clears throat> and Wisconsin. Maybe that uh, will also include Southern Minnesota. So people now are questioning the USDA uh, yields, and uh, some are using a 173 instead of a 177, which would take 400 million bushels off of the U.S. supply and carryout. It's still adequate right now, and that continues to offer resistance to the corn market <clears throat> at this 520 area in the September and a similar 530 area in the December. The um, one bushel lower, 51 um, bushels uh, in the U.S. soybean crop would take 86 million bushels off the supply <clears throat> and would get closer to 200 million bushels. For the bean market, any further decline in yield or higher demand uh, would mean the carryout would drop below 200 million bushels versus the bearish USDA's 300 million bushels. Russia did not renew <clears throat> the ex Ukraine export corridor deal. That's probably why you're seeing some short covering in Chicago wheat. We also note that Canada <clears throat> will probably see lower spring wheat production along with maybe the U.S. Europe's got a few pockets of concern. Uh, some of the Russian spring wheat areas might get some rain over the next 10 days. The dry areas is the winter wheat areas, which should help harvest. Uh, again, <clears throat> we're not sure how much grain can be shipped out of Ukraine with the corridor now uh, done. Uh, we also note that parts of northern China is dry. Uh, and I think that as El Nino gets stronger, you're going to see more drier weather in Australia. So the spring wheat crops <clears throat> globally uh, do have some concern about supply. It's just that from a U.S. standpoint, demand for exports is extremely low, given the fact that Russia and Europe uh, wheat prices are cheaper. Uh, we are seeing a, a rally in Brazil corn prices, maybe a buck and a qu quarter uh, last week. We are seeing that uh, U.S. is becoming a little bit more competitive off the P&W, which uh, down the road might help demand. Behind me is the typical farm uh, here in northern Illinois. You can see the crops have greened up quite a bit with the uh, rain of late. Um, I think that you can see also the corn is shorter than normal, and so are the soybeans. So the question mark is, will they get trend or above trend yields given uh, their short growth. 